Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another weekend prep video. Today is Saturday. It is, what time is it? It's 7.30 in the morning and uh, I'm getting ready to go get coffee and go to the farmer's market. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I'm a full-time working mom and I have two kids and in these videos I just like to share what I get done during the weekend to prepare for the upcoming work week. So let me tell you what I have written down to do um, this weekend. I just went ahead and wrote it in my planner. So I actually want to wash the trash cans here in the kitchen because they're gross. <laughs> I want to take them outside and um, fill them up with so soap and water and scrub everything down. Um, I need to clean a couple bathrooms, uh, mop the kitchen, and I also want to clean and wipe down the washer and dryer. I haven't done that in a while. And then I have some miscellaneous other things I need to do as well. Uh, meal prep, film a video. So come along with me. We'll see what we can get done right now. I'm going to go get coffee and go to the farmer's market. I'm down here at the farmer's market. Um, I did read on, <clears throat> excuse me, their Facebook page that they want us to wear masks. So I am uh, wearing a mask and I'm going to put my regular glasses on because I feel like my sunglasses are going to fall off <laughs> if I try to leave them on with the mask. So anyway, I'm going to go see what they have. I actually saw um, on Facebook that they had some strawberries. So I hope that they still have some of those left because they looked really good. All right, so here's my tiny little farmer's market haul. Uh, it seems that they don't have a ton of produce yet, but that'll be coming uh, in the coming weeks, I'm sure. So I did grab a bag of lettuce. This is just kind of a baby lettuce mix that looks really good. So I got that. I think that was $3. I got a bunch of uh, radishes that looked good. I also grabbed some asparagus. This looks like a mix of purple and green asparagus. I got one cucumber, some uh, little cherry tomatoes, and then they also had some heirloom tomatoes, so I grabbed a couple of those. I figured maybe I could make a salad for dinner with like maybe kind of a simple vinaigrette and some of the veggies and herbs that I got. Um, I also grabbed some peonies. There's a lady there that sells uh, flower arrangements. I can't remember how much these were, um, but she uses like recycled jars and then she just does um, these little flower arrangements, which I think is so awesome. And every time she has them, when I go down there, I buy some from her. I love peonies. And then I grabbed some herbs that she had also. So I'll show you guys out on the deck here in a second. Um, I'm growing some of my own, but I like to get some of these that are already started also along with the seeds that I planted. So this is parsley, uh, rosemary, and thyme. I wanted some dill, but I didn't find any. So yeah, not very much, but that is what I got down there today. All right, so I have to tell you guys the tale of the two Roombas. So I've talked about this before, but we actually have one downstairs here and one upstairs and um, the one downstairs here is not actually a Roomba brand it's an off brand and it has actually been doing a really good job down here on the main floor um, in our on our main floor we have mostly hardwood and then we do have some carpet in here in the living room but it, it has been doing a really good job of keeping everything clean and then we have another one upstairs that's an actual Roomba brand which we had that one down here um, we've had it for like a little bit over a year and it stopped working and so Adam emailed the company and they sent us another like vacuum box and he replaced it and it works just fine so this one seems to do better down here on the main floor with mostly hardwood and then upstairs we have mostly carpet and we have the regular Roomba up there. So that seems to be doing well for now. This one is much cheaper than the Roomba brand. So I can link it down below if you're interested. Like I said, if you have mostly hardwood, I would definitely recommend this one. It has been working out really well for us. We have it set or Adam has it set on a timer to go like every day at 9 a.m. or something like that. I don't know. So anyway, I just thought I'd mention that because... I know I've gotten questions about it 
uh, before, but yeah, we're pretty happy with it. So Adam is actually out of town right now. He is in Missouri. They, him and his brother and his dad went down to help his grandma because she had some health issues and just got out of the hospital. And so they went down there to um, like fix up her house and get it ready for her to come home and put in a ramp and you know, handicap accessible, all that stuff. So he's down there. He was gonna come home tomorrow, but I talked to him this morning and I think he's gonna come home today. But I was talking to him because I went out on the deck and we have had a bat <laughs> living in our umbrella of our patio furniture. And the last couple times we wanted to use it, we just didn't want to deal with it and like, you know, push up the umbrella or whatever. But the reason why we know that there's a bat living in there is because there's bat poop all over the table. Um, we have like a ton of like woods and timber around our house. So it's rather, you know, common obviously that we would have <laughs> bats around here. Um, but I was gonna go outside and show you my herb. So let me show you that situation. So I think it actually flew out. Um, let's see. Murphy's gonna come out and protect me. I just called Adam on the phone. I was like, um, can you come home and take care of this bat? <laughs> it was. Yeah, I think it flew away. So what it does is it, you know, they like dark places. And so it gets, it crawls into those folds in the umbrella and then stays in there during the day when it's sunny outside. And then, you know, you come out here on the deck and you look and there's just a ton of bat poop <laughs> all over the table. So, oh, I think it just crawled down. I don't know if you guys can see it. You probably can't. It's like in there. Anyway, it just, it crawled down further. Anyway, I told Adam, I'm like, I'm gonna wait for you to come home and you can take care of that. <laughs> uh, okay, so here is one of my herb pots. Uh, this is chives, which chives are a perennial, so they'll come back every year, and these are quite large. I need to trim them back a bit. And then this is cilantro. This is parsley. Uh, this is tarragon, I believe. Let me, yeah. Um, I think this is oregano. So these all started from seeds uh, probably a couple, maybe a month ago. And then this is obviously a perennial, so it comes back. Now, I do have two hibiscus out here, and I thought that these were the perennial variety, and they may very well be, but I may also have killed them by leaving them out here over the winter. So I need to get rid of those. And then I do have another herb pot over there so I'll have to decide if I want to I think probably since I got some parsley and I have parsley in here I'll probably just plant the parsley right here so that can all be together and I want to get some basil too she the lady at the farmers market said that she would have some basil plants um, next year not next year next week so I'll have to go back down there next week and see if I can get some basil plants that's my favorite thing to have out here on the deck and I get some every time I show this kind of stuff I get questions like how do I do it Will I do a video I am NOT a gardening expert so no I would not make a gardening video because I'm not you know I'm not the person to ask on this all I know is that I just plant them out here on the deck every year and I water them and I pull back the dead parts and that's all I do so definitely you do not have to be a gardening expert to grow herbs on your deck but yeah regarding the bat you can see here like this this is our backyard so all of this right here is just timber um, there's houses kind of over on the other side of it which you can't really see through the trees but yeah we get tons of you know snakes and rabbits and squirrels and bats and everything out here because obviously there's a lot of animals living out there Murphy protect me Protect me, Murphy. All right, so Connor is out playing. Uh, we have a little pool set up in the driveway because uh, our town pool is closed this year, but uh, it's 9.30 now and I emptied the dishwasher. I have some dishes that I need to hand wash, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that quick.
All right, so now I'm going to wash some of the lettuce that I got at the farmer's market. I don't think I can fit it all in one batch. So I'm just gonna do half and half. This is my OXO salad spinner, which I wash all of my produce with. I'll link it down below. Sometimes I do vinegar, sometimes I do lemon juice in with the water, it just depends on what I feel like at the time. And that is just to help loosen up any dirt that may be on the lettuce as well as keep it from going brown in the fridge. So that was actually quite a bit of <laughs> lettuce mix that I got this morning. Uh, I got this bag and then this container. I like to keep my produce after I wash it in these Rubbermaid containers. I think that they work really well at keeping things fresh. There's like a tray in the bottom of there that helps keep the water off of things. Um, and I usually just stick a paper towel in there and then there's a also kind of a filter or like a vent in the lid. So I'm going to get these in the fridge and uh, I'm going to wash up the rest of my produce. I just have my tomatoes in here washing and then I'm also making some egg salad uh, for this week. So those are my hard boiled eggs in there. Also one thing I was going to say, if you do get lettuce or greens or anything at a farmer's market, make sure that you wash it really thoroughly uh, because typically they're not using like the amount of pesticides. Uh, that conventionally grown produce is and so you'll find a lot more bugs in there than you normally will so just word of advice All right, so this is what happens to me in a nutshell is I start doing things and then I decide, oh, I'm gonna wash out some of the fridge. <laughs> so I was going through my produce drawers just trying to figure out if I had any, like, yeah, that's a bad lemon. Um, if I had anything that I needed to use up or if anything was moldy or anything, uh, which I didn't really find much of that, but this, these drawers are gross. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash them out. And then I had a bag of carrots out in the garage and a bag of lemons out in the garage fridge. So I'm gonna um, remove all the produce from these and put them in the sink and wash them out. And then I'm getting ready to take the trash out also so I can wash out the trash cans. And then I have been washing all of my produce. Uh, so these were some cherry tomatoes that were left over in the refrigerator. So I have the asparagus I got at the farmer's market this morning. I washed that up. I'm gonna make some of this for dinner. I think I'm gonna do like a big green salad with some grilled chicken and herbs. Uh, so here's all the tomatoes I washed up. I had some, oops, I had some celery in the fridge. Washed that up too. This is a bunch of herbs. So there's some chives that I had out on the deck some um, parsley and some cilantro that I had in the fridge that needed to be washed up. So I think I might make a green goddess dressing. That's what I like to do when I have like a bunch of extra herbs that I need to use up. And then um, we're just having leftovers for lunch. So I had some spaghetti and meatballs in the fridge um, that were left over from last week. So I just heated those up. Connor just ate. Um, Kira's still upstairs. So I don't know if she's still sleeping or what. I gotta call her down here.
All right, so that's much better. Uh, I went ahead and put a paper towel in the bottom of each of these drawers. I don't, I can't remember where I saw somebody do that, but um, I figured that would catch any leaks or crumbs or anything. Um, all of my lettuces are in this drawer, and then in this one I put my citrus and my peppers, uh, carrots, pepper or jalapeno peppers, and cucumbers. That is done. Now, I could take all of this stuff out and clean out the whole refrigerator, but I'm not gonna do that today. I just wanna show you guys how well these Roombas work. <laughs> if you think that they don't work, which I was skeptical too before I got one, uh, that's all of the dirt and dog hair and everything that I got up, and we run this pretty much every day. So, yeah, I agree, it's disgusting. But if you have a dog that sheds and you don't have one of these, I'm telling you, this will make your life so much easier. Having uh, some, you know, trash cans in the island is awesome. Yep, it's charging. Uh, but it gets so gross in here. So like, <laughs> when we built the house, I knew that I wanted to have a trash can in the island because that's what we had at our old house, except we only had a single one. We didn't have a double one. And so I'm like, well, I want a double one. But the problem is, is it gets so, disgusting like the kids come over here and they throw away their food and there gets tomato sauce everywhere yes I acknowledge it's totally gross I haven't cleaned it out in a while so I'm gonna take these trash cans outside and um, wash them out soak them and then uh, scrub them out and then scrub this out while those are soaking I'm waiting for the trash cans to dry. I'm gonna eat some lunch. So I got this at Trader Joe's earlier this week. It's lemony arugula, arugula basil salad kit. So I just used, I don't know, about two thirds of the greens. And I also added some tomato to it and I'm just gonna put the rest of these back in the fridge for later. All right, my garbage cans are dry. So that is done. I'm so glad, it's so gross. Cause I wiped out this whole thing. Cause you guys throw food all over it. And now it's squeaky clean. All right, so it is now about two o'clock and I finally got my um, meal plan and my grocery list <laughs> made for the week. So I'm at Hy-Vee right now. I'm gonna run in and grab my groceries quick and then head back home. All right, it's much later now. It's almost six o'clock and I'm gonna change my dinner plans for tonight. But uh, did, someone told me before what causes this. So. We have this like tray drawer in the bottom of here and sometimes when you pull it out, all of these ice little pieces come out. And someone, shoot, someone told me once what this was from and now I can't remember, but it's hella annoying. So 
If you have this type of fridge and you know, please let me know. It's only under that drawer down there that condensation like freezes and then ugh, ice comes out when you pull the drawer out. Um, can you help Murphy? How about you eat the ice? Do you guys like my yellow Crocs? Styling. We're kind of just doing whatever for dinner. Um, Adam actually got home early. He was gonna stay till tomorrow, but um, they decided to come back today because everything was done. So I made him a big salad with um, greens and some ham and some pepperoni and peppers and olives and Italian dressing, sort of like an Italian garden salad. He said he needs some veggies. Uh, and then right now I am testing a recipe from um, America's Test Kitchen. So you can actually, I'll show you here. So you can actually sign up to be a recipe tester. If you just Google it online, you um, can fill out a form and provide your email and they'll send you recipes to test for their magazine and cookbooks. And so what I have here is the chicken and vegetable pita wraps, which is kind of getting late now. It's eight o'clock, but I'll be up late anyway. And so I'll just taste this whenever it's done. But uh, what I did was I whisked together the marinade for the chicken and the peppers and the onions. So I used olive oil, um, lemon juice, lemon zest, honey, oregano, salt, pepper, and then there are um, chicken breasts that I cut up into chunks in there and green pepper and red onion. And so then I'm just going to, um, it says refrigerate for at least 15 minutes or up to one hour. So. I'm gonna refrigerate this just to kind of let the flavors melt a little bit. And this is a um, a recipe for a cookbook they're doing called Toaster Oven Perfection. So I'm actually gonna be making it in the toaster oven, so that's kind of neat. And then next I have to make the um, tzatziki sauce that goes with it. guys good Sunday morning so I am in uh, the drive-thru at McDonald's getting some breakfast this morning uh, I've decided to go get coffee it's almost nine o'clock and uh, we are gonna have friends over today for a cookout so I decided not to cook uh, breakfast since we'll be cooking or since I'll be cooking stuff for lunch so I did mention yesterday in my grocery haul that we were having some friends over today and I did get one comment um, questioning if that was the right decision in light of all of the COVID stuff going on, etc. I guess what I would say is that I would caution against um, passing judgment on people that live in different areas of the country or world than you do because it's different everywhere and the way that I feel about it where we're at right now in the state of Iowa is that our peak um, has been over a month ago and things are opening back up and as long as my friends or family or whoever have been asymptomatic and they've also been in social isolation there's no reason that we shouldn't be able to get together the way that I feel about it is that if everyone's asymptomatic you've all been in social isolation uh, you keep your gatherings to less than 10 in my opinion you are totally within the guidelines 
anyway so regarding the two things I made yesterday the um, I don't think I ever talked about it but the salad that I made for lunch um, from Trader Joe's was really really good and I would recommend that if you're ever at Trader Joe's that basil arugula lemon salad or whatever that was delicious and then the um, what do you call it oh the chicken pita that I made last night that was really good too I would totally make that again uh, and it was super easy to make in the toaster oven so like I said if you are wanting to be a recipe tester for America's Test Kitchen just look it up online I don't have a specific link or anything but I know that you can probably google it and find it so anyway I'm gonna go home and um, drink my coffee uh, figure out what I need to make for today and then probably clean the bathroom downstairs um, before people come over and we'll see what else we can get done today. Okay, so I got all the mopping done downstairs and the bathroom clean. I'm gonna wipe down the washer and dryer real quick, just just a quick wipe down. I'm gonna use this Microban um, antibacterial. I actually really like this. I got it a few months ago, I think, at Walmart. I still can't find any Clorox wipes in any of the stores I've gone to, so I don't know, I might have to go to Costco and see if I can find some. Alright, so we're starting to get some food ready. I am making this mason jar broccoli salad, although I'm not making it in mason jars. This is from the Damn Delicious Meal Prep Cookbook, which I have cooked out of before. I think I actually did a meal prep video on it, but I really like it. I'll link it down below. Um, in here I have mayo, <laughs> mayo, Greek yogurt, um, apple cider apple cider vinegar a little bit of milk sugar salt and pepper and then you whisk this up taste it and then um, the recipe calls for red onion and some kind of nuts um, it calls for cashews but I think I'm going to use sunflower seeds and cheddar cheese I think Adam's gonna try and extract the bat Oh God, I must be gone. All right, so here is how the salad turned out. Uh, if you're making this ahead of time, which I would suggest making it ahead of time because the 
dressing will soak into the broccoli a little bit, but just sprinkle the sunflower seeds on top, otherwise they can get kind of soggy um, if you mix them in with the dressing. So I'm gonna put this in the fridge. All right, so I'm also gonna make an angel food cake because I have some strawberries and whipped cream, so I thought that would be good. So uh, I haven't made one of these in a long time. So super easy, obviously, just this and water. And I have my tube pan here. I do not have a link for this because my grandma gave me this. It's very super old and I haven't used it in forever, so I'm excited. I'm excited because I haven't made an angel food cake in years. So it's about quarter afternoon. I think people are going to come over at one. So let's see what I got done so far this weekend. Wash the trash cans. Oh, I didn't do Kara's bathroom yet. Did the downstairs bathroom, mop the kitchen, clean the washer and dryer. Boom. Kara's bathroom. Probably should do that tonight. All right. So my cake is done. It looks delicious. You can tell it's done when it's um, like firm and it's brown on the top. So when you make angel food cake, you always wanna cool it upside down on a glass bottle. So that's what you use this little hole for. So I'm gonna flip it on, flip it upside down on top of here. Make sure you use a glass bottle and not a plastic one. And the reason why you do that is to make sure that the cake doesn't collapse as it's cooling. All right, let's see. Hopefully this is big enough. It's barely big enough. I about have to throw this sesame oil out because it's about past the date. There we go. Ta da! For the angel food cake, also, I have some strawberries and blueberries uh, that I just put a little bit of sugar on, and that will go on top along with some whipped cream. I also made caprese salad. Yum. All right, so it is now 7 p.m. and everyone uh, went home a little bit ago by everyone i mean the three people <laughs> that we had over uh but we had uh good food and the kids had fun playing outside on the slip and slide so that was good so now i'm just gonna work on um cleaning up the kitchen and i'm gonna see if the kids want anything for dinner we kind of made a late lunch so i figured probably if they want something it'll just be something small like a snacky dinner okay so i decided i'm gonna cook these little pizzas from Trader Joe's and you're supposed to be able to scan these with the Tovala oven. Oh, Ooh. it worked. Surprising. You just put it in there. I feel like I better move that down. Okay, and then start. And it automatically sets it. Cool. All right guys, so it is currently 10 o'clock and I'm up here folding some laundry. I actually did get Kira's bathroom clean tonight, so I was pretty excited with that. Got everything crossed off on my to-do list this weekend. Uh, had a fun time with some friends today and made some yummy food. Got some cleaning done, so I would say 
That is a successful weekend prep. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.